All right. Uh, hi there, this is Antonio, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run SQL queries against uh, tables in uh, Monday.com. Well, again, uh, actually, boards in Monday.com. So um, over here, I have uh, a couple of tables. I have a table with uh, people, and I have a table with uh, departments. And let's see how we can run some uh, some SQL queries against uh, against these. So let's switch back to let's switch to uh, Excel. And you might be wondering what Excel has to do with this, but what what it has to do with it is um, it has. Uh, I'm going to be using QueryStorm for uh, running SQL queries, and QueryStorm is currently running only inside uh, Excel. So um, normally in QueryStorm, uh, when you open up a SQL query, you can uh, press, uh, you can define some tables, and you can uh, run um, run queries against uh, tables and. Um, in uh, Excel, but uh, in this case, I don't want to do that. I want to have uh, tables uh, from uh, Monday.com. So currently, I don't see any tables. The way to do to fix that it would be to go to the project, add a data context, and uh, there's going to be a Monday.com data context. And that's going to give me this uh, scaffold, this uh, script. The only thing I need to uh, change over here is the API key. So I'm just going to get rid of that and go into the admin section in monday.com, uh, API, and then uh, copy the token and paste it in here. I can do other customizations here, but um, there, there's basically no need to do it if, it if I just want all of the tables. So I'll just run this script. Um, I'll I'll save it just so that I have it in the future. But once I uh, once I run it, um, I can see the, the tables uh, over here in the local table section, um, and uh, so I can see the departments and the persons uh, table over here. I can see other tables as well, and these are inside uh, the uh, the other folder here, the software development. This is just a template uh, template generated uh, boards. Um, so uh, let's see how we can run some uh, SQL queries against this data. So let's do. Let's start with the uh, with the persons table. So uh, I can see over here five people, um, and that corresponds to uh, this persons table over here. So I can see Timothy has an ID of one and the department ID of one, uh, which I can I can see here. So Timothy ID one, department ID one. I have some extra columns here, so that's the underscore ID column, which is the Monday.com identifier for this uh, for this uh, row. The underscore name is the row header. The underscore score group is the the group header uh, group title over over here. So if I change something here, so let's say I change the the ID to uh, to ten. If I now uh, rerun this query, nothing happens. So basically, I still have one over here, and that's because QueryStorm uses caching. Um, to kind of reduce the, the to, to improve the speed of the queries and reduce the number of um, uh, reads from the from the server. But if I know that I've made some changes on the on the server, I can just go here, reload data, and uh, press run again. When I press run, I can see the ID is now ten. I can do uh, updates as well, so I can um, update persons set ID equals one. Uh, where ID equals 10. So now if I run this and switch back to here, um, I can see that the ID has switched back to uh, one. Um, I can do, uh, instead of just uh, doing one, updating one row, I can update all of the rows. So let's multiply the IDs by two. And let's switch back here and we can see uh, in real time how, uh, how these uh, get updated. Unfortunately, this is not very quick. Monday.com API doesn't really support bulk updates, so uh, so it updates one row at a time, and, and that gives you a throughput of about one or two rows per second, which is very slow but manageable in most situations because usually boards in Monday.com are not huge, uh, although they can be up to ten thousand rows. Um, let's go. Let's uh, divide these by two again, and then we, we can we can see how then how they uh, update. Again, so uh, we also have another table here, which is the departments table, and we can do we can obviously uh, so we have a, an ID here, and we have a department ID in the persons table. So we can do um, so something like a join, which is fairly simple to do as well. So let's uh, start with the persons table, inner join uh, the departments on p dot department ID equals. Um, uh, let's expand this. D dot ID, auto format this, and when I press F5, I can see 
um, um, the, the, the result of the join. Just to reduce the clutter, I'm going to um, extract just the, uh, the name of the person and the name of the department. So we can see uh, Timothy, Caitlin, and Edward are in sales. Uh, so Timothy, uh, uh, Caitlin, and Edward are in department one, and John and Dana are in department two, which is uh, uh, management. So uh, we can see that, uh, that over here. Uh, if I uh, switch, uh, let's say, somebody over to, let's say I, I switch uh, John to, uh, to sales as well, uh, and reload the data. Um, so I can see that they're now all, uh, all four of them are in uh, sales. So uh, that's, that's how to do uh, SQL queries uh, on monday.com boards. You do need uh, QueryStorm to, to do this sort of thing. Uh, you can get QueryStorm from the querystorm.com website. Um, so uh, there is a community version and there's a full version. The community version is free and you can do this for, you can do this for free. Uh, you can, so you don't need the, the full version for, for this particular thing, though the community version is, um, that's appropriate for uh, smaller companies. Uh, but, uh, and if, if you're in a larger company, then you would need a, a paid version, but with the paid version, you also get some additional features as well. So um, anyway, uh, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please um, consider leaving a like, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down uh, below in the comments of this video. Thanks a lot, and see you next time. Goodbye.